Hi everyone, welcome to our new episode of Versus a Must. My name is Eduardo, you can just call me Edu, and uh, today we'll be trying to get into the top 100. Let's see if we can do it. Um, so get, getting into it, I, I do want to say that we will be using a bit of a different version from the team we've been using lately. Um, I changed the work guys a little. It's now Cobra Bear with a different spread. Uh, not that different, but a little. I also grind a bit off, off uh, screen, so as you can see. Uh, trying to get my, my rating where, uh, you know, it could be more exciting and closer to, closer to first. Um, so, because you know, the, the ladder keeps moving around and it's important to be um, around the same place where I left off. Uh, so we can keep the, the run going. Um, I also changed the Gastrodon to Yawn instead of Protect and I added Protect instead to Togekiss uh, over the Flamethrower. So let's hope to find an opponent uh, as we do. It's uh, band order 2317. All right, so look at their team. Hmm. So they do have double electric. Uh, hmm. The Yon on Gastron seems to be really good in this matchup, honestly. Uh, kind of want to lead Arcanine and Gastrodon as that. Um, does pressure? I could also. No, oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh... I just need to pressure the Duran a little. Uh, getting the Yawn uh, pressure into Togus covers a lot. That's what I like about Yawn because I can cover the Togus Dynamax turn one a lot better. Um, the electronics are here too, and then it's a question on whether I bring Togus or Gorgas. And I want to say Gorgeist. I'm going to try out a new spread, honestly. And showing, like, Gorgeist is always uh, something I want to show off as much as possible. So, let's see if we can do that. Um, let's see, if they lead Durant um, Arcanine, I'll be forced to... I'll try to Yawn and uh, go Gorgeist. I got guys a lot more physically bulky now. Um, something I'm testing out uh, might make it public soon if it works. Uh, this is the first time I'm using it. Um, so let's see. They actually don't lead Durant or uh, Togekiss, they lead two Pokemon very weak to Gastron, so I'm happy I made that uh, adjustment. There, I, that I had that idea. Um, now I'm kind of afraid. Yeah, Air Balloon. Hmm. That is annoying. It's annoying on one hand, but on the other... It means we can yawn them, and they cannot... Well, they couldn't set up Ledge Train anyway if they were GMX. You can kind of nullify... Their Gigantamax potential. Um, if they are Dynamax, you know, they can't uh, Ledge to Train out of it. It's pretty huge. I will try to get a safeguard off, if they let me be amazing. Um, let's see. But it, it's looking like we're gonna have to just accept the, the, the status on the Arcanine, because I feel like the, here they always fake out the Arcanine and uh, go for a G-Max, then sh No, not Stun Shot. What's the name again? Oh, it wasn't Incineroar Dynamaxi. Is it going to be a weakness policy? Oh, they protect. Alright, that's fair enough. So they probably like max knuckle with NC, I guess. No, max darkness. That also makes sense, because he drops my special defense. get the on off. Fair enough. So now I don't see much of a reason not to snarl and um, go turn it tar. Although they would have to boom burst to really pressure my gastro, right? Well, I guess sludge bomb also works. 
Actually, switch out the toxicity into Togekiss. The great friend. <laughs> Interestingly enough. Um, let me get T turn. Alright, interesting. So they can't Giannis if they have that. Uh, but they are gonna get a special defense drops, potentially. They could also just max knuckle for attack boost. That could be. That could cover a lot of potential plays on my side. Let's see. They do knuckle into what? Into T turn. That's, that's annoying. And on the other hand, they didn't drop my special defense. I don't know their speed. This is not ideal. Yeah, maybe I should have just... Mm. Well, I don't want to go to guard, guys, for obvious reasons. Oh well. Um, I can go for it now. And um, just go for a rock slide. It's not worth the Dynamax just to get Dazzling Gleam plus Knuckle into T-Tar. Worst case scenario is they go for Dazzling Gleam, get a crit on T-Tar, and get a Max Darkness off into the Goro guys. Let's see them items though. Scope Lens and Assault Vest. They do Gleam. And they get the crit on T-Tar. And War guys too. Yeah, this looks really bad. Oh man, they max darkness. Okay, they max. They went for the max strike, which is good news for us. But this is really hurting. Yeah, like the fact that yeah, the crit kiss on the position they're in, it's really tough to deal with. We should be fine as long as like they don't get the crits they really need. <sighs> yeah, it's not looking great. Definitely isn't. Let's see what they have in the back. Mm. Alright, so I think we can still try to sweep with Gastrodon. Probably wouldn't be ideal, but we can try. So get a flamethrower off. You know, getting getting some damage is gonna be important. They go for a slash, they hit. We do have our Cobra Berry. So let's see if we can how well we can take that. They got another critical hit. So they're three for three, and that makes things way tougher. Well, we don't know what they targeted with, with the Ensign. They, went, they did go for Darker Slurry. If they went into Gorgas, it didn't matter. I mean, it mattered because in the sense that I wouldn't have to take that damage on Arcanine. So now we have to make a decision. Because I feel like they would parting shot the Gastron, right? So what I was thinking was to Dynamax the Arcanine and go for Recover. Could also not Dynamax any of them. Just go for a regular Recover. And hope we don't get crit. I think we need to get Recover off, otherwise the Incineroar is gonna... We're gonna be too low. So go for Flamethrower. Yeah, go for air slash. No crit. Can't go for darkest layer yet. Gash on. Thank that. And we don't have flinched. That's huge. It's huge because, well, actually, they had fake out. Probably flare blades, dark layer, and, and a fighting move. So they might not have parting shot to begin with. I mean. It, 
course they don't have parting shots. It's all vest. What am I saying? Oh my god, I just realized how dumb I am. Okay, so this is not over at all. You can get another cover off with Flamethrower. Man, I feel dumb now. <laughs> they go for follow me. Not sure what that really accomplishes, but... I mean, at that point, might as well, I guess. But that did open a window for me to play more defensively. They go for Darkest Slayer. This time they seem to be going into Arcanine. Yeah. They don't get a crit. We get our Citrus. And we go back to full. Alright. That's really good. Sand is over. Okay. This is not over yet. <laughs> it's not looking amazing either. Ooh, okay. So they could have Rotom. They go for Mimikyu, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So a special defense boost wouldn't be necessary here. So what I'm going to do first is, f <sighs> but on the other hand, I don't want to drop the power of my own flamethrowers, you know? Having will o now would have been really nice, but you know, we don't, so <laughs> um, what can you do? I'm, I'm glad they saw Rotom Watch because a nasty plot version could have been really annoying. Obviously, Yawn helps, but in, not in the sad game, I don't think, because I'd have to Yawn in a position where I kind of want to Dynamax. They do stay in with Incineroar. They go for Sneak. Okay. Yeah, Flamethrower off. We get a burn. Well, the special defense boost is gonna help against Toxtricity, to be fair. The Darkest Lair into Arcanine too, so they really want to single out the, the Gastrodon. Something else I could have tried to do was go for Max Darkness and drop this Pratev. Get some damage there. This boost is enough. At this point, they only really beat me by critting me. So I'm better off just going for the, the special attack boost. When, or rather, the boost to, to my water moves. Um, so yeah, they go f they just, just go for player off. And then a Lariat. They don't switch, so they'll be locked at minus one. And that's good news for us. So now the Geyser should KO the Incineroar, despite them having Assault Fest. And they can only touch us with a Boom Burst. They're also Assault Fest, so they won't be doing... Uh, sorry, Air Balloon, I mean. So they won't be doing as much damage. So what I want to get rid of is the Incineroar. I, I'm not sure if I can even KO the Toxtricity to begin with, because they have the Air Balloon. They go for Sludge Bomb, they get a Poison. They don't go for Lariat. Go to, to about 50. And we have our special defense boost. Do we kill the Incineroar? We do. Perfect. So now we're in the hands of uh, Boombers, basically, I think. Boombers kind of hurt still. We are plus one special defense, but. See how much it does. You also need to not get crit. Mm, that's a lot. We need to not get crit. 
Whew, it's gonna be a long one, it seems. Or maybe not, maybe you just get crit now. Well, they go for Sludge Bomb. So they would rather get the poison. And they don't. Alright, that is huge. Yeah, because now we can just. Yeah, no poison there means we can just Skull. Into Earth Power. They go for Boom Burst. No crit. Get the Skull off. Oh, Max Lizard would have KO. It's like maybe that was the play. So now it all comes down to this one. Does this one get the crit? They go for Boom Burst. Did they get it? No crit! So we win the game. We somehow make a comeback after that such a tough begin like beginning of the game. That was that looks really tough. We're down 2-4 with uh, two heavily chipped Pokemon and making this comeback was, was not easy, but whew, what a what a game to start with. That was that was insane. Um Ooh, alright. Um Damn. So yeah, I'm gonna pause until we find another game. And uh Yeah, I'll see you see you in a bit. Alright, so we got noon. 36. Ooh, this is gonna be intense. We are uh, at 101, by the way, so. Ooh, kinda insane that they're using this team. They are 36, number 36 right now, so. Should be a fascinating game. <sighs> a really tough one, too, because this doesn't look easy. I like Harkonnen as a lead a lot, but then again, there's a Talion that we gotta be wary of. Um, I could also. Bead with the Gorgeist. But like, um, ah, no, 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 that's not the play. Because if they lead, uh, took the Marvel Intellion, it could be really bad. So I lead Arcanine Titar. Yeah, and I go Gastro in the back, and I want to say Togekiss. Spin Kiss and Gorgast. I could also go with the Duramo, but I don't like that. Too many mind games with Inteleon. I'm gonna go with uh, Tokus. Let's see if it, uh, how it goes. Like, I feel like Trick Room would have been really nice against them, but um, at the same time, I'm um, I'm kind of afraid that Gorgeist just stays stays there because uh, I don't have a very concrete game plan with Gorgeist, and usually I feel like I need more of that. Like I have, I need a specific goal, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to set up Trick Room at any given point. Hmm, that's kind of stuff. Cause like. Nothing's really stopping them from snipe shotting Arcanine and sleep pottering the um, Tyranitar. Is there anything else? Yeah, the, the Sash could be on, on Gengar. This could be Scarf. So, what I want to do is I'm just going to protect with both this turn. Because I scout for potential Dynamax, I scout for their sets. And most importantly, yeah, because if they Dynamax, I can't just go Gastrodon. on. They can't snipe shot anymore. Although if they Dynamax Butterfree, it could be really bad. Okay, it's Intelligent. So I just wanna, yeah, I just wanna scout. Um, then that also to potentially break a Sash on, on the, the Butterfree. We'll see. So it is gonna go into the with the Max Geyser, into Arcanine. So we could have just gone. I could have just made the play I wanted, which was going Gastro and and safeguarding. Tough.
Tough indeed. Maybe I should have trust myself now. Now, because like now I could be in range of um, airstream. I'm honestly not sure. So what I'm gonna do is. I mean, worst case scenario, you burn a few turns, right? Of sleep. I mean, of um, Banamax. Also, max ground. Honestly, like it's um, it's max quick that scares me the most. But I I'm really feeling like we're gonna have to play with sleep turns. I'm surprised they made that play though. You do have Max Quake, which I was fearing. So yeah, like not sure why they didn't just go Max. I mean, maybe it didn't KO. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go for sleep now. All right, it's not looking easy. Uh, we're gonna be forced to go T-Tar. We're gonna go for Rock Slide and, um, and just burn our turn to sleep with Gastrodon. <sighs> that sucks. We could have gotten a big lead right away. So I'm gonna go with the, as I said, the Rock Slide. Oh, his name is New. That's why. Okay, <laughs> and just um, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you click here. They are oddly. Uh, they seem to be safety goggles on Butterfree. I want to say they don't take sand damage, right? Oh, there was never sand. Never mind. Never mind. Well, they actually do. They actually switch out surprisingly. Yeah, into the, um, the stone drunner and they quake the astronaut of course that's so much damage get rock slide off it's okay damage we'll burn a turn there And I'm expecting a fighting move on on the um, stone drunner. So what I do? What I want to do? Do you think they'd have Blizzard? I feel like they would. I feel like they totally would. And if I want a shot at this. I'm gonna have to do Dynamax now. I'm gonna try to recover. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's looking really tough. Cause like, uh, I just wish I, you know, that turn one was really bad on my part. I played too defensively. And open my, open myself up for that. Oh, they were Ice Beam, so we could have gone, we could have gone into the Togekiss on the T-Tar slot and, and uh, just play down for the, from, just play from there. So let's see what they do. They go for Iron Defense, interestingly enough. Again, Max Darkness. Uh, all right. So they're gonna be body press, supposedly. So what we can do now is uh, we just go to Hercus and we're forced to protect. And we knuckle the, um, the Intellion. Get attack boosts. Um, Entire which could make a big difference. Yeah, and we don't hit them. Yeah, because because I'm expecting a, them to rock move, right? Body press would be kind of a risk. I feel. Oh, they actually go for protect with the um, stone jungle, and we are fast faster. That is huge. So they get ice beam off. Kind of wish I hadn't targeted the the, the, um, the Intellia now.
Because uh, I thought they bring Butterfree in. So we're going to have to play around with slip turns. Yeah, we always max darkness to Butterfree. And we always uh, Gleam. They're at neutral. So... Should do a lot of damage. Go for Sleep Powder, they hit. Yeah, they target the right the crap Pokemon. Let's see if they go for a Rock Move or Body Press. Go for Iron Defense. Alright, alright. I can deal with that. They got another drop, so they're minus one now. Oh, let's see what's in the back. Drops the sand. What's that? Real boom? Yeah. Okay, this is not looking terrible. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna protect the Tyranitar and try to protect the Tokens. Waking up here would be huge. No doubt about that. We don't get the, the wake. I think we should still have a chance. Let's see what they do. Expecting a fake out. Yeah. To kiss. They body press. They rock slide. Ah, we could have attacked with, with uh, Titor. I mean, that makes sense, but you know. Alright. So now we really, really, really need to wake up. So it's now or never. Come on, Turkis, you can do this. Just for Woodhammer. To the Turkis, that enough? Oh, that was enough! Wow! That was really strong. Yeah, they body press. Yeah. Ah, that's game over. That did so much damage. Yeah, we needed to wake up turn before. Oh, that really sucks, man. Alright, that's alright. Live and learn. I uh, should have time to uh, another game for another game. So let's let's uh, let's do that. Um, yeah, I'll be back when uh, we find another game. All right, so I got Moonwolf six eight two. Very interesting. Um, I got a Tranitar. So they seem to have the a much better ver variant of the Incineroar T Tar Exodus team we've been seeing around, which I'm I'm glad to see. Not gonna lie. Um, which kind of makes me want to go with Durant. Well, Durant looks really good here. Like, mm, they definitely have something unexpected for Durant. Like, 100%. But, I honestly don't see much reason not to go to kiss Durant Arcanine. And they in for the last slot. I think it's Gastrodon because Gastrodon deal helps with Excadrill, um, gets a Yana from Kiss, helps with uh, T Tartar, helps with more importantly with uh, Chalicent. The War Guys does that too, but not against Silicus. So yeah, I'm gonna go Gastrodon. No, Ayan is always annoying, and yeah, although it's a bit worse against Jellicent, I feel. I mean, eh. It's iffy, because like, it's actually not, yeah, because you, you don't want to get Shadow Ball with Gore, guys. So, yeah. let's get into the game. We lead uh, Togekiss Rotom. Very interesting. It could have be like Babri. Babbery Heat Wave. So 
So what I want to, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna steel spike the kiss and uh, protect with uh, with my own token kiss. That may feel odd, um, but I feel like they'd have to Dynamax to kiss here because if I'm if I go for um, Max Lightning or Max Rockfall, they kind of have to. They can't just rely on that, right? They can't just rely on, on Barbary Togekiss to do a Dread. They have to Dynamax too. And if they Dynamax, they dare stream. Yeah. And if they air stream, he'd probably be into the, the Togekiss. Even if it isn't... Um, even if it isn't, making sure the Rotom doesn't get damage on the on our Togekiss is huge. Because if we follow me, they get the airstream off and get rid of my Togekiss, and then I'll speed my uh, Durant. So we just get Protect off. You go for a Max Guard. Kind of surprising. So I guess they're trying to go for the, the T-Bolt damage on that Kiss, which makes sense. But we also see that our Togekiss outspeeds their Togekiss, so we don't even have to redirect anything. We can just go for a, a Dazzling Gleam. Because that should pick off, pick off the... Uh... Oh, so I guess actually it just switches out. Interesting. They're slowly like taking care of the... Um... We're getting rid of the Dynamax turns on my like, Dread, but at what cost, you know? Cause like, look at this damage, it's it's insane, and we should be able to get rid of the X drill now. Get a lot of damage. They go for a Thunder Wave and miss the Durant. Oh, that sucks. That's huge. They get a lot of damage off. Wow. Yeah, that's that was pretty lucky, not gonna lie. Tough, tough. Uh... So yeah, they just bring back Togekiss. At this point, we just Steel Spike again. Uh, no point in redirecting, because if they Thunder Wave... They, like, Durant's gonna be basically useless afterwards. Oh, they just forfeit. So yeah, that was a quick one to finish off. Um, you know, unfortunate for our opponent, for sure, but... At the same time, I feel like our position was really good. Um, at this point. Even if they got the Thunder Wave, I feel like I could just protect and uh, still, sp still spike the, the Tokis Protect, bring in my Arcanine and start snarling and, and dazzling gleaming. So yeah, that should be it for this episode. I want to check the, the ranking we finish off on. Making top 100 would be amazing, but I don't know. Yeah, 103. Uh, that's tough. Honestly, yeah, no, no, this is enough. We'll just have to do it on another episode. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, it was fun, had very close games, and um, really fun ones, so hope you learned um, as much as I did, and see you next time. Bye-bye.